एवरीवन वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड या आई एम आल्सो गुड सो फ्रेंड्स एज आई हैव टोल्ड इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट आई मिस्ड टू अटेंड द मॉक असेसमेंट एंड ऑल बट लकीली आई सॉ इट आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग ऑफ द वीडियो दैट हियर द टाइमिंग इज 11 पी एम ओके नॉट ए एम सो आई गॉट कन्फ्यूज वाई मेकिंग द वीडियो सो आई वॉज थिंकिंग आई वॉन्ट बी एबल टू अटेंड द टेस्ट because it is mandatorily participate as it is written here so i was panicking more like uh, i would be able to attend the actual test or not and all as i have mentioned in my previous video if you have watched it right so yeah fortunately it's written here mock assessment link was given and uh, test link will uh, be active till sunday june 25 11 pm It is. It was mentioned like this, right? As you can see on my screen. So after making the video quickly, I was just going through with the email, and then I uh, saw it. Oh, it is written as 11 p.m. and uh, then uh, I was having time, so I clicked here, and uh, then I attended the test. So the good news is I am obviously fully eligible to uh, for the further actual test, and also. for you guys i have taken the picture from my mobile phone as it is not allowed it is restricted and all but as it was mock so i took risk and uh, as it is mock so i just click the picture few just for your idea the process how you can log in uh, how is the interface how uh, what kind of questions could be how many sections especially the coding section how you are going to in put your input compiling everything so because trust me i was also not aware for the coding research and how we are going to do because this is, is for the very first time i am going to attend a test with the coding section okay so yeah it was new for me as well and after that this one you can see as my admit card so accenture placement download your admit card now i got this email yesterday only before attending the mock on i got this email as 6:34 pm you can see here so uh, in this email my admit card is attached you can see regards recruitment team accenture in india so this was my this is my admit card i want to open but uh, i'm just showing you for your idea okay and then after that nothing only the application id login id your all details your personal details will be mentioned there the timing slots duration all those kind of things in your admit card okay and after that this email i got it uh, today and for as reminder also i was getting this email like this one this also i got one day ago hi nepal hope you all uh, you are all set to participate in the cognitive and technical assessment followed by the coding assessment in virtual mode okay your assessments are scheduled as i have selected my timing as slot 5 of june 27 so it is mentioned here scheduled on tuesday june 27 2023 starting at 2 pm please make sure to log in 30 minutes before your test start time so i am reading all these things to remind you also those who are going to attend this test with me so you need to uh, keep all these mandatory things in your mind because if you are unable to log in within 30 minute of your uh, assessment start time you will not be allowed to participate and all mentioned clearly so we have to be very vigilant right and then this email i got it today as accenture important communication online assessments on 27th june 2023 this i got two hours ago as you can see dear candidate thank you for showing interest and choosing your assessment this one is the final reminder reminder email i think because of this email i got after the mock assessment right so thank you for showing interest and choosing your assessment slots on uh, date is mentioned 
again the date and timing is yeah here it is mentioned please note that the assessments on 27th june will be online and you are not required to travel to any college or assessment center to appear for the same so it's a good thing we need not to go anywhere to take the test as it will take time to go and all so you can happily take your test in while being at your home so this is a good thing but uh, as i am also going to appear it very first time for the coding section i am saying so let's see how it gonna be and uh, just stay tuned with me i will obviously share the questions of the actual assessment but now let's uh, uh, start for the questions of mock assessment so for that i have made a small presentation uh, okay so i'll tell you so here it starts like this accenture mock assessment for the role of application development associate okay after uh, okay so as i have mentioned many times in my previous video also the mandatory things before attempting the test you have to log in be ready okay be ready with all the things like install the seb safe exam browser where in the accenture platform it was mentioned like a secure exam browser so it is same only the name is different so you need to ready with the, all the installment and everything and then you will be redirected to this kind of login interface Okay, so here it will be auto filled your username and password you need to just log in okay and uh, yeah safe exam browser is similar like your virtual desktop you cannot minimize it to your actual desktop and also it will ask permission uh, whether you want to continue because you need to close all the existing video if you uh, i mean windows if you have already opened on your actual desktop so if you will allow yes then it will automatically close all the windows and then you will be redirected to the uh, another desktop where you will be just uh, stay tuned with, to the browser of safe exam okay and now after logging in i have taken this picture camera will be on and i have noticed one thing when uh, uh, when i was trying to solve or something uh, like in the code hectic and only i was thinking so uh, when i uh, moved uh, my neck so i was getting pop-up message uh like uh, don't move like uh, what was the actual message yeah uh, make sure to visible in the camera so so much of leg movements is not allowed three to four times i got this pop-up message so that's why i mentioned here and then after logging in you will get this kind of thing uh welcome interface so here you need to tick this box i agree to terms of you terms of use and then start test after that uh, the terms and condition so this one i have taken just one picture but it is uh, process the process like once you will allow then it will check all your system configuration enablement everything online pro uh, pro things set up and you need to allow all this i agree to the assessment terms and conditions a verb i fully understand and agree that all these things you need to read instruction and then just allow and next once you will do next then you will have to see the another interface like uh, you need to click your selfie the setup will like that and uh, then your camera will be on your microphone setup uh, background noise everything will be checked your system configuration means so it will be done and then you will allow next then you will become uh, this kind of page okay here you can see waiting long please wait in our approval test takers waiting launch so here you need to wait till uh, three minutes two to three minutes was there and then uh, you have to tick here this checkbox and here test information is given like test name and the, as i have mentioned mock test and allocated time is 10 minutes we, we, this was mock so we have to take it just for an idea only so there were only 10 minutes 10 questions or 10 minutes okay number of question is six for this one as it was first round okay so all the security instructions navigation tool how uh, everything it was given like uh, if you will attempt so it will like this in green color if you don't attempt then it will be uh, white color only and if you will flag 
you want to uh, recheck it then it will be marked as red so all these things you need to just uh, go through and you are already aware so you can uh, skip and you can proceed now you have to click on the proceed now so this was for the proceeding for the test now after all the system configuration after all the permission and everything your your test will be started so this was the question of reasoning okay here you can see i will read the question so that uh, if screen is not visible so much clearly then at least you can hear so it is uh, written like look at this series 80 10 70 15 16 so what we, what number should come next so it is in our manner this uh, so you need to analyze which number will be next so just you can practice this question if you didn't receive uh, the same question you can practice for your actual one okay those who are going to appear this test uh, tomorrow next one is uh, yeah i was not knowing as uh, because section is not mentioned in the email like which kind uh, what kind of sections would be there okay so this data structure i was not knowing uh, the question will be from ds also the question is from networking also okay as i have uh, checked it, uh, some got to know from some fellow contestants okay so this question is from yeah network you can see here the uh, okay it is data structure in the handshake protocol which is the message type first sent between client and server so this is network not data structure oh, i have mistakenly written that so the uh, answer will be client hello that's first the client will approach to server okay this was related to handshake protocol so it is the it was the question of networking Next one is verbal. For verbal communication, I got this question. Choose the correct option. He was vexed dash so Sohan for his behavior. So the options are given at, to, upon, with. So you need to choose the most suitable one, and then you have to proceed. Then the next question is it is very clear as you can see the uh, question from the quant section. The question is right. Like the prefix of a plus b into c minus d is. So you need to find the prefix. And the options are given here. Like plus minus a b into in bracket c minus d, then into plus minus a b c d. So like these four options are given. You need to choose the correct one. So you can have idea like what kind of questions you need to go through and what uh, the section you can read it out uh, to attend the test. So next one, yeah. So once you will attend all the six questions of the first round, then uh, it will be auto submitted if time will over or uh, otherwise you need to submit it if you are done. Then uh, it will take three minutes. So it, you will get pop up like please wait while we submit your test. Please do not close this window or press refresh back button. You need to you don't need to touch the screen. Just you need to wait for three minutes because this process can take several minutes as it is mentioned here. So this is for submitting first round of test and the very important thing is and interesting also so if and only if you will clear the first round of your testing which is quant uh, which includes quant verbal your uh, reasoning your analytical reasoning di uh, all those things data structure networking means tech in technical round all those kind of things will be mentioned so after all those i um, mean the first section once you will submit the first round of test, then on, uh, it will take three minutes or something. Yeah, after three minutes, immediately you will get the message like whether you are eligible for the second round of test or not. Okay, as you can see here, thanks for attending the test. Congratulations, you are eligible for the next test. Please click the button below to proceed. Okay, so. Uh, first attempt is clear, is clear then only you will be eligible for the next round which is coding so you need to just click here take me to next test and then here you can see coding section so only one question was there as it was mock but in actual i got to know there will be two questions let's see what uh, how many questions i am going to receive and then i will um, after 
making i mean after once i will complete my actual assessment then i will surely make a video and i'll tell you each and everything in detail so okay let's wait for that but here as it is for mock you can read the question the question is like this is a programming question please do not forget to select any one language so first of all in what uh, kind i mean in what programming language you are going to write this code you need to select from this drop down given here in the select language select language here you need to click and uh, options were like c java c hash python okay so these were the options so, so i selected python and uh, the question is write a program to reverse an integer value is given 5 4 3 2 1 so you uh, this kind of two interface will be given you need uh shit okay so these kind of two interface will be given but uh, here it is not visible i mean so you need to just click your cursor there and you need you have to type your answer uh, your coding once you will done it is mentioned here please compile the code once in order to save it navigating to another question without compiling it will result in losing the code so once you are done with your coding you need to compile and immediately you will get the output also you need to you know uh -huh, let me tell you one more thing when i uh, wrote the code okay after that i clicked on the compile when you will wrote then only you will get the option of compile here and the instructions also you can read so i clicked compile and it was like no give input and uh, then to compile again so i was not getting from where i need to give input yeah i got it that input value i need to give like this five four three two one or uh, one two three two five anything then it will reverse in order to five four three two one so now once you will write the code then you need to click on compile and then you need to give input value and then you will get output Okay, then you can move to the next question so it is not easy because this question is easy okay not even very easy but if you are knowing then it is easy but uh, in the actual assessment i don't think it will be this much easy and also you need to write the code you need to compile you need to run the i mean you need to compile and immediately you are getting the output and immediately you will get your result okay uh, so for the second round also once you will complete your test then uh, here also you will get whether you are eligible for the next round next round will be your communication round okay and uh, also you will get the email so yeah the next round once you will suppose you come uh, you are selected for the the interview round means you are uh, you passed this assessment then you will be having communication test which is not the elimination round but it is mandatory so you need to attend that and after that your uh, interview final interview will be there in which your technical and hr both will be included in one interview so those all are the further processes but first our goal is to crack this uh, assessment then only we will be eligible for the further rounds so it's okay whatever result it may be i will share with you guys and i will uh, uh, the most important thing is once i will attend the test i will share you the questions how uh, all the details regarding that so for uh, like in upcoming days if you are going to attend this test or for the next time then it will be useful for you so that's all about this video as i wanted to inform you regarding this thank you thanks for watching and you can understand you can have an idea that obviously it took a lot of effort to combine all the uh, screenshots and uh, pictures take the pictures from phone by giving the test and then make a video is not easy so you just uh, support me i hope you will thank you